Okay, so uh, I'm going to cut this. I've marked it at the. It's got to be at least as long as the head. And it comes to about here. And I wanted it a couple inches after that. And that should cover that area where it was likely to, to break um, and allow me to, to use the, the shaft to slide in and out without blocking that function, but it'll give me that strength around where those tend to break. So, back to my next Harbor Freight tool. This is one of my favorites because it, it's easy to set up. line things up. I hold this with my arm and I have my hand on the, uh, the, the wheel that tightens down the clamp so I can hold it right where it needs to go, make sure I'm on the right mark. Now it's all set to go. Just flip it on. It'll go right through that. Up, they end up on my shoes and then they end up in bed with me. You don't want that. Nice, uh, nice little function where the once the cut is complete, this hits the switch and turns it off. So I, I often will put a bigger piece in and it might take five minutes to go through it or a little more. I'll walk away. I don't walk too far though because things can happen and you don't want your motor burning out. That's on to the next operation. Okay, I'm having to reshoot this because uh, the battery fell off. Uh, I already cut this, the length. I wanted it to the length of the head to go on the pruner and then a couple inches more just to cover the area that's more likely to break in that fiberglass. Um, and I don't want it any longer than that because it'll it'll keep me from retracting it, and and uh, I want to be able to retract it in and out. So I'm just going to cut another piece because I do like demonstrating this Harbor Freight. Uh, this is one of the first major uh, things I bought at Harbor Freight, and it's it saves so much time compared to the the port of band that I was using. Um, you got to, this is a learning curve, and you got to keep it adjusted, and it's it's been adjusted for a while. I haven't had to adjust it. Um, and the only other thing you need to do is keep it clean. It's not too hard. That's what this is for. And I got this brush. I keep a brush near all the tools to drill press, and so I could brush them off. I want the filings down here. I don't want them on the floor where I'm tracking them around. But um, by the way, the music you hear is K Love. Can't pick it up in Auburn, but um, my channel. Okay, so this is pretty simple. I, I mark the part, then I do this little dance where I hold this up off the part while I adjust the clamp so that I can get it right where I want it and then clamp it, and then I'll lift it up and I'll check the clamp. Make sure it's in there flat and square, which is pretty pretty easy to do. That's the great thing about this, it's, it's gonna cut that off square, I don't have to do much more. Turn it on. If it was heavier metal, I would lubricate it. catches 
of small parts. So, uh, it's a nice square cut, and that's what I got when I did it the first time. Right here. This is the part I don't need. I don't think it's tossed though. Okay, on to the next operation. Okay, Mr. Ryan. Got the pruner finished. I ended up uh, not liking how the flux core was working. This didn't. It's either min or max, power-wise, and the speed control. And being that it's a lighter, it's like a three sixteenths. And uh, the conduit it just was too hard to match, and uh, I kept. I didn't really burn through in any one spot, but I also had trouble fusing. Of course, that's the problem. If you're trying to fuse it, you melt both metals. I used the 116 um, stick electrode 6013. And uh, I think that's the smallest one they make. I can't imagine one smaller. And that worked much better. Um, I I used the intermittent um, technique where I made a bead about you know maybe an eighth to a quarter of an inch, and then moved to the other end and made another bead, and then came back and did the middle. That way, I didn't I didn't get too much heat in any one spot at any one time, so I didn't burn through. But the fusion worked a lot better. The burn of the stick is is way better. Uh, I didn't try the the MIG because I would have had to change the gas bottle to do it right. But uh, obviously, the 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 longevity has a uh, continuous control on both the, the wire speed and the voltage, i.e., current. So. Uh, but anyway, it's way better than it was. Um, it's got all sorts of problems where it's going to fail. So these, I got my 40 bucks out of both of them, but um, I'll be looking for something better. And uh, the newer versions are pretty much exactly the same. They have a chain on them. That's the only change. Um, but um, I'm getting really getting sick of this wobble in this table, so. Fine steel. Yesterday, I got the makings of uh, my table. I picked it all off the rack, and if I can turn this, basically, I got 128 pounds of of uh, steel, and. There it is right there. I got that plate. That plate's for my anvil uh, base. That's a uh, 3-8 plate. But all that other, the angle on the right, let me see if I can do this. The angle on the right and uh, on the bottom, then uh, the other angle there. I got eight of those. Or, uh, yeah, six of those. I think four or five of the shorter angles. One long angle. And uh, uh, eight of the tube. One and a half inch square tube. And I basically designed it in my brain as I was looking on the shelf. I just picked everything right off the shelf. So I'll have a minimal of cutting. And uh, it'll be way heavier. So, uh that's it for the pruner. I'm going to go use it now. That was the whole point. And uh, I'll get back to you when I start this here project on the table.